So we are up to Perek Beis, the second Perek in Tehillim. This is a very interesting Perek. Just as the first Perek contrasted the difference between a Rasha and a Tzaddik, a righteous person, and a wicked person, this is also continuing in the same theme as many of uh, the Midrashim and Chazal treat the two first chapters of Tehillim as one long chapter. And it's split up into different parts in this, in this Perek. But the main theme, if you look at the Perek inside, the main theme is... If we see this distinction between a tzaddik and a rasha, that and the life of a tzaddik is much better and, and more appealing and should be something that we should follow, so why is it so that the wicked, right? Why do the wicked prosper? That seems to be the question posed by different speakers. Hashem sometimes is talking, sometimes David Amel is speaking. They're responding to non Jews. It's but the basic theme in this in this parak is why do the wicked prosper? If a life of righteousness should be one we seek after. Just to highlight a few words, so there are words here that you may be familiar with from a song. Simcha. So that's what we would think. So that's what it says in Mizbar Lesoda, which we'll get to, Mir Tashem, Perak Kuf 100. But in this Perak, in Perak Bez, it says, Ivdu es Hashem, Beyira, you should serve God with, with fear, with awe, the Gila Bira'ada, and with joy. Amongst trembling. What does this mean? Gila bira adha. So the Gemara in Brachos tells us an interesting story. On uh, Daf Lamed, the Gemara tells us that um, Mar Barin de Ravina made a simcha. He made a wedding. And uh, he saw that the Rabbanan were... The Chazin Hula Rabbanan Kibad Tuva. They were getting very merry, very excited. So what did he do? He took a glass. Icy kus, uh, uh, kisa. The... Murka uh, bas arba mea zuze. He took a glass that was worth four hundred zuz. Vitova kamai. We smashed it on the floor. And Tosas on the spot says that this is the minhag. This is the practice why we smash a glass at a wedding. And uh, that's what the, the actually the machzer vitri from the base minhag of Rashi. He comments it comes from this principle of gila biraada that a person should feel sort of this mixture of happiness. And, and sadness. I guess he get, got away with that because he was making the wedding. So he smashes the glass. He's the one making the wedding. He's the one paying. So, okay, but what's, the, what, what's going on over here? He, th- he saw them. They were too happy. So he made them more sad. Like, what's going on? So uh, there's, it's said in the name of the, uh, of the Hasidic, Hasidic Shasvar. I'm going to get into like, a little bit more of the, the heart and the neshama inside. What's going on? So um, based on the Pazik that is also from Tehillim, from Shira Malos, we say um, that... Uh, a person is hazorim bedima berina yiktoru. A person plants with tears that maybe they'll, they will. The, maybe the translation could be they reap with joy. But the, in the Hasidic farm they say there's no real joy without tears, and there's no real tears without joy. That when a person feels at a very at their highest point of their at a wedding in a, in a joyous moment. There's still some, maybe someone's missing. Maybe there's someone who should be there. Or their absence is felt more, more distinctly, more, more powerfully, more acutely. Uh, or maybe it's such a, 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 a high moment, but a person remembers that life is not always like this, right? You think of it as it's going to pass and fade away. And the opposite is also true. In our deepest and most darkest uh, moments, there also is that inner knowledge that Hashem is with us. And that gives us a sense of simcha. So there's a, there's a joy, and a long, amongst joy can be pa- pain and sadness, but amongst sadness there can also be joy. And that's the way we have to serve HaKadosh Baruch Hu, having that sometimes bittersweet, Sometimes it's a mixture, but that's the deeper explanation, perhaps, of this idea of Ivdu es Hashem, Beyira, serve God with awe, Vigila Baradha, and a mixture of joy and with fear, because that is the true experience of an Eved Hashem.